What's up, guys? We snatched up the other ES monster model from Kill La Kill so Ryuko could have a friend. I'm probably never going to paint anything with so much white ever again. You have to wear gloves or wash your hands so much. I mean, you don't want to see a nice model covered in Cheeto dust, do you? Of course not. But we managed to keep it clean and knock it out. Either way, it looks really nice, and doing a matching model from the same franchise was pretty cool. So with all my nonsense out of the way, let's get to the main show. Baseline back around again. All right, let's slather this chick with primer. Oh, check out our new picture and picture feature. Hope you like the extra angle. Here's the beginning of the white paint marathon. I apologize for the paint washing out the picture here soon. One of our mistakes in picking this model was thinking it would be easy. I mean, it's only four colors, should only take a few minutes to finish. Bring the baseline back around again. The matte black made the hair look really soft. I did not expect that. We made the base on an Ender 3. Had to because we're running out of resin and that stuff isn't cheap. Also takes a while to ship up to Alaska. A consequence of my Warhammer days is that some of my paints are pre-thinned. A couple of coats will be needed. Thin your paints, kids, or your space marines will cry. My dog Hondo. He's making his YouTube debut. These lines are pretty difficult. More difficult if the caffeine is making you jittery. Rob was about two Dr. Peppers into this part. See? Gonna have to repaint that bit.
pauldrons look pretty cool. More white. Boob window. Normally, we would blend with barbarian flesh, but it gives a pink hue. So we used Kislev instead for a slightly tanned finish. of this line workout, shall we? show up, but the eyes were painted with psychic shock by army painter. It's a blue-green color. 
We varnished the models off screen before the final photo shoot, but we needed to use two different finishes this time. For the armor slash clothing, we used a gloss varnish and the skin and hair was a satin finish. Pro tip for you, if you want to airbrush varnish, be sure you clean all of it out of the brush before it starts to dry. Isopropyl alcohol does the best job with that. If it dries in there, you'll need the strength of Thor to take your brush apart for a proper cleaning. photo for the reveal. Even used one of those special effects the kids are always talking about. If you liked what you saw, consider hitting that subscribe button and maybe leave a comment. Be sure to check out ES Monsters Patreon and maybe check out our links too. Stay tuned for the next model. See you next time.